Hey everybody, Gary here with Pal Music, and that was the solo for Let It Be on the album. So that's the album version as opposed to the single version. So we're gonna go over it phrase by phrase, break down the different licks, the different shapes, the different patterns, the different techniques, so that you can learn those, incorporate them into your own playing, and make them your own. If you want the tab and the song notes to go along with this lesson, those are available on my Patreon page, and the link to that is in the description. So let's jump right in. All right, so we're in the key of C, and our scale is the A minor, C major pentatonic first shape. That's where we're starting. We're gonna come down over here. That's the lowest we're gonna go. And then in the house of blues, we're gonna end up in this shape. First phrase. One. So the one thing that's a little tricky here is this is a double stop, these two notes, and then you hammer on. So you gotta make sure that this finger is not touching that string. Second phrase. So we do a little slide from five to seven here with your third finger. So putting it together and I'll count it off. One, two, three. First five seven we hammer on, and then the second seven we go right into a whole step bend. So the note we're aiming for is that one. So all together. Play it again at the top and drop it down and then back to the five. Then check this out. What we did there is we went into the house of blues, we take our third finger on the seventh, slide it up to the ninth, and then use your second finger to play the eighth fret on the E string. Now a cool picking technique you might want to try is using your second finger instead of the pick on there. This is a little tricky here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a whole step bend here again, and then use your first finger to bar the fifth fret, first and second string. So. So that next phrase. Okay. 
Now, if that's too hard, you can just go. You can release it. And then. So then he just walks back down the scale with a cool little pattern. Together, that's really the first half of the solo. One. second half of the solo. So we're sliding third finger, fifth to seventh here. Now, he likes this, so he does it three times. Check it out. House of Blues. So. Okay, now, from there, we are going to transition to the next shape. So that's kind of similar to this, but now we're doing it. Same thing, just an octave higher. So we got that. All right, now the next shape. And then, and then again, the hit it on the, on the top and drop it down. Now that's a great thing to practice. Try to make it sound like this note without even playing it. See if you can feel where it might be. Now I'm adding vibrato just because it's a habit, but there is a lot of vibrato in there too. He doesn't do vibrato on the bends, like some people might go. He doesn't do that. It's, it's very. Then that note there, same thing, started at the top. And then, so this whole little section here, two, three. So I'm going to put it all together.
All right, so now, how might you practice some of these licks, right? So you've learned a solo, now you wanna make it your own. So what are some themes? Here's one theme. Now that's something you can do all over the scale. Mess around with that. You can also do it in this shape. So that's one thing you can work on. The bending thing. This song is great for no uh like blind no knowing the note you're going for without even hearing it yet so this whole so you're aiming for this note with a bend and when you're messing around with solos So mess around with that technique, the, you know, starting it at the top and then dropping it down. And a great thing he does here is transition from this box to the House of Blues to this one. And some of the ways that he does that is from here and here. So we got, so here's one of the transitions. So you could start thinking about these scales. Just think about these two strings. You've got, and then you've got, and then you've got. So this song really gives you a lot of ideas on how to mess around with just a couple of strings and come up the fretboard this way instead of always going up and down vertically. So those are just a few of the things you can take away for your own playing. Well, all right, everybody. I hope you found this lesson helpful. If you liked it, make sure to click the like button. If you want to see more lessons like this, click the subscribe button. If you want the tabs and the song notes to go along with this lesson, go to my Patreon and I will see you guys soon. Happy playing. Play until you got blisters on your fingers. John Lennon said that at the end of a song. If you know what song that was, comment below. See you guys later.